Uh, how's it going, everybody? What's up, guys? How are you doing? This is Shames and Froggy. Uh, I just want some background music. WMU Amherst. Yep. WMU We're here. Six to eight tonight. We got some big stuff. I'm here six tonight every... Six to <laughs> every Sunday night for the rest of this school semester. We're here bringing uh, some educational stuff. That's what the song implies, um, in fact. Is your mic on? What? You're using three. Look at us. Yeah, Look. No, no, no. No, no, no. See, we made this mistake last time. Remember? No, I'm on Go mic on three. I don't want to sit in the corner. All right, you don't want to sit in the corner? All right, well, I guess that's a great transition to... Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, put my, put my, yeah what? I couldn't even hear myself. Put my yeah, mic on. That's a great transition it's to ridiculous. Uh, what happened yesterday. WMUA <laughs> Amherst, 91.1 FM. What, what? Well, I said it before, and you oh, know my oh, mic oh, on. Oh, oh, oh. Um, so how's it going, everybody? Uh, we're here. We got a lot of vinyls from WMUA secret. No. Okay. <laughs> we got first, a lot first thing, I, first thing I got to say, <laughs> yeah, I, it doesn't bother me, but it's kind of a pet peeve of mine when people say vinyls. What do you, you prefer record records you don't or like vinyl, vinyl records? You don't vinyls? like just vinyl. That's like Why saying, not? um. I don't know. Like, like if like if you bought a bench for your house and it was like, I that oh, I got a wood. No, I got no. a wood. I could get a stone. I could have gotten a stone, nah. but I got a wood. And it's I don't like, know. it's a pretty yeah. But wood be can I got be made vinyl, into anything. Dude. But you make vinyls out of vinyl. It's like the main. I got a thing plastic you use vinyls for. All right, man. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. I li- I like when people say records. I think it's okay. I'll say records from now on. You can say whatever you want. I'm just going to secretly hate you every time you <laughs> say vinyls. We got plenty of uh, records. We're going to be turning it. Not turning. We're going to be trying out the turntable today because uh, we. I don't know. We want to see how it uh, how it feels. We can go backwards, forwards, speed it up. We're going to really be messing around. Um, but now I kind of want to talk about how we goofed up yesterday with the mic situation. I honestly, I want to hear you talk about it. I don't because it made me so incredibly angry. angry. So just a bunch of stuff happened yesterday, guys. If you didn't know, it's Easter Sunday next weekend. Mm -hmm. Um, we both celebrate Easter, so we will not be at school or in the studio. They said, yeah, you got to record your show. So we're recording the show yesterday. And the internet wasn't working in the recording studio. Yep. And we sat there for a good 30 minutes. Like an maybe hour and 45. A half. Yeah. It was close. Yeah, it was a long time trying Struggling. to figure out what was wrong with the uh, internet. Emailing people. Emailing DMing. people. Um, we ended up going into the newsroom and. Recording it there. That was fine, but it, w- it had its own issues. Yeah, we. Well, the recording would like stop every like so often. And yeah. And then we would have to like We'd have restart. To restart. So we, I just had to edit all those clips together, which really wasn't that bad. Um, it was then annoying, though. We were about maybe like 70 minutes into our two-hour session. And, well, let me just play the clip. Let me just play the clip because I have it recorded. Um, oh, God. It's kind of funny, guys. Uh, I'm going to play a little bit before. I think me and Frog were talking about, I don't know, actually. Let's see. Nope. See, now it's just music. Oh, you know what? I know what's happening. Sorry. Oh, boy. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. It, uh... Guys, I'm going to take this moment to plug. If you're not following us on Instagram, follow us follow at us. Seamus and Froggy. Live DMs? Are they open? Um, we, not right uh, not right now, no. but we will be opening up our live <laughs> at DMs. At a certain moment. At a certain moment. So if you DM us right now, we're not going to read them. No, we won't. We won't even look at it, no. Um, but, yeah. And also, guys... Me and Seamus, we're on our grind. We are starting to compile together our old shows. And no guarantees, but it seems as though we're going to start releasing two episodes a week. Something, yeah. We still have to oh, figure it out. Well, we have to sort well, everything we, out. We re- so. I could, it's not that bad. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I thought it was a lot worse than it We should do pretty. those funky pictures. If you guys saw um, our Instagram today, we kind of edited a little bit of... Me and I give Frog. credit to Seamus. He 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 edited it um, together. Yeah, it wasn't that tough. You know, I think we should do those for the YouTube. Yeah, YouTube's. So yeah, so we were pre-recording our show for Easter yesterday. I got it up. Um, just listen. 
If you hear what me if? in the background, it's me what and Frog if talking. We started um, doing the Seamus in the streets and Froggy in the field, or Froggy in the field and Seamus in the streets, or how whatever order it is. What if we recorded that and then took the audio and detached it from the video? Because I know I know how to do that. I can do it on iMovie. And then I could just save the audio, need be. Yeah, that is true. You know, I can just take the audio of the thing and put it over there. So, yeah. Although I don't know how good of audio you'll get with the video. Yeah, so that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to f- tape some microphone over our phones. So even if we do it, like we do like... Is your... I don't think your mic... Is it not on? Say something. Hello. No, it's on. <laughs> Look. Uh, oh, oh, that's so funny. Um, it's... The thing's on, right? You can click. I hear my... I don't know, man. I'm just going to keep talking. They can hear me over there. You say something. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't it's know. really low on that. That's funny. That's like you talking to yourself uh, the whole time. Uh. <laughs> I don't that's know, man. Like, that's two hours of you talking to yourself. So, yeah, that, that, that was a that clip was you just horrible. watched. Yeah. I, guys, <laughs> I'm going to say this That was from now. yesterday. Have a good day on Easter Sunday. <laughs> Do not tune in to Don't listen to it's that. It's going to be horrible. <laughs> It's, it, it's probably laughable how bad it is. I don't know. It's It's got to be entertaining. You didn't put my mic Oh, up. my goodness. You see, it's going to trick me. It's going to trick me. You want me, me to up. switch to number two? It's, uh... I'll like put both on me. Again. I'll put both on me. You, I don't know. That's going to give feedback. Just... No, now do three. Now I got three on. <laughs> just stay there. So, just, just yeah. Don't up. listen to Seamus and Froggy on Easter Sunday. It's going to be a disaster. Yeah. I'm anticipating. <laughs> yes. It's going to be our bird up of Seamus and Froggy. It'll be bird like the up. worst episode. But you think like bird up the worst? Of- well, that was the whole That was the whole idea behind it. It was bird the up. worst skit. So he just made a whole episode oh, about yeah. all... Bird up. Yeah. Ranch up. Yeah. I, the one thing I was worrying is that my family's going to be like coming back from... Well, I guess I won't be driving with them. But, like, they're going to be, like, driving back from Easter dinner. And they're going to be like, oh, 7 o'clock, perfect time to tune into Seamus and Froggy. Throw it on in the radio, and it's, like... It's going to be horrible. Repulsive, yeah. Um, we, we, You know what? Honestly, though, we had to... We had everything working against us yesterday. Yeah. So, like... We, we, we fought through, though. Yeah, we did. I was ready to give up, oh, like, really like five different times. <laughs> really quickly? <laughs> like, an hour and a half in quickly? Uh, yeah, that's pretty quick. Uh, that's, no, I don't kidding. know if that's quick, man. But, was, hey, like, I'm glad we persevered we and did. we made it. And uh, now it's going to be the most uh, <laughs> infamous episode. Yeah, the Easter special. <laughs> Christian Rock, too. All played. Uh, see, I wanted to play Jonathan and Charles, but my computer wouldn't even work at the end. Oh, that's right. too bad. Let's not t- <laughs> I really want to hear that Jonathan and Charles. Maybe I'll play some. No, we're only no, doing vinyls do today. Do only not. vinyls today, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Vinyl special. But I have a big announcement. Huge announcement. I hope she's listening. Um, I was going to say this later because we got a little sound effects vinyl and I wanted to use sound effects, but we don't. I'm, we're saving that for later and I want to say this. Congratulations to my sister, Grace. She got engaged today. Wow. Right? Congratulations to um, Seamus' sister, Grace. Grace and John, I'm so happy for you guys. I didn't know that. Us. Yeah, I was saving, to, saving it for That's air. amazing. Yeah, I'm sorry if I didn't seem that enthused this morning. I was uh, pretty tired, but I hope you're listening. I know she said she might want to call in. I don't, I, but John, I got the best bachelor party planned. It's okay. I got it all set. Oh We're all good. You God. can come into Seamus and Frog. John, John is walking into a <laughs> disaster scenario. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm happy for you guys. Uh, John's John's going to be uh, Patrick and Seamus as his uh, brother in law. Yeah. His brother in law's. You're scared. Good luck, John. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are listening. I don't know. Well, let's go on to our vinyls. So, what what is this right here? Let let let's set up what's happening. So, over this week, WMUA shout out WMUA radio. Shout out WMUA. WMUA from they are the radio organization of UMass, and they, you're listening to them right now. Yeah, you are. We are WMUA. Uh, MUA. I can't say it now. We're we are WMUA. We, are, we own this place. Um, no, but they have a ton of vinyl records. Sorry ton of records and music <laughs> and they were music. putting three random records into bags for selling, five dollars selling it for five dollars and they put in like each day they had one good record not good like brand new record that they bought it was 
Laurel Hell, right, by Mitski. Yeah. Which I don't listen to Mitski. They had Currents yep, Tame by Paula. Tame Impala. Tame Paula. And they had Because of the Internet. No, they did not have that. They did They said that like a month and a half ago, and I remember They that. said that recently. Did they? Well, if you the board, it's... No, they huh. they had one every day, and the last one was a gold version of Rumors by Fleetwood Mac. Oh, huh. uh, yeah. And every time I went, I went every day to get a pack, and it's like Pokemon cards, right? <laughs> and every day, the person in front of me got the good one. Like what? Like the good album. Like it wasn't not the person for the first day. It was like a little. It was like maybe ten minutes before I got there. Uh, then the second day was the person got theirs, came back, and they're like, oh, I just got Tim Paul. Or I got there, and they just pulled it out. Then the last day, someone, the first person in front of me got rumors. Wow. This is crazy stuff, right? How many? But I, you would also have to pick it correctly. Yeah, exactly. Because they have a but bunch saying, of them They don't even, just give it to you. You, have, you pick them. I didn't even get a chance. Um, and how many packs did you buy, Mr. Frog? I bought one. That's it. So what'd you, you bought two? Three. One every day. Wait, so how many records you got? Nine? I got nine records. Are you yeah. serious? But so, can I see my pack? Actually, this is the best of the best. Uh, no, this one is f- fun. This one's a cool album. Fun. It's a fun, fun listen. So is the Zebu one. So I guess we'll just start with mine too. How many? You have three. I'm gonna play one. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna reveal what it is now. Okay. But there's one track I'm I gonna play talking. off it. That's like. 11 minutes, I'm going to cut it down to six. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean... Then we'll do the comedy sounds later. Past that. Well, yeah, so I'll just say which ones I got. So I got a Charles Mingus uh, album, yeah. legendary uh, jazz trumpeteer. I think he's a trumpeteer. Goodbye Pork Pie Hat. Very uh-huh. good recording. Jeff Beck covered it. Very good. Um, and I also got the Smashing Pumpkins. Um... Frog is a big fan of Smashing Pumpkins. I do like the, I've been listening to them a lot. Yeah, and um, I can't remember what the album is called. One second. It, it's a live version, though. Is that correct? I think so, but I honestly have no idea. Uh-huh. Uh, I like the cat. I Am back. One. Yeah. It's called Can I Am One. Front? It's got I Am One on it. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's like a little moon. It's got I Am One, Plume, and Starla by the Smashing Pumpkins, mm-hmm. and um, which I never heard any of those. Uh, I'm going to be playing Starla. Mm-hmm. And uh, the other record I got was a soundtrack. Ooh. To, it, it, honestly, no, I was not record. impressed. Yeah, I know. No, I did get kind of weak ones some days, but the ones I... It's very 80s. Uh, uh, the soundtrack to Streets of Fire. Uh, it contains I, I Can that. Dream About You, performed by Dan Hartman. Mm-hmm. I don't like it that That's much. That's it. You listen to the whole thing, yeah? I did not. <laughs> no, okay. So I listen to the the breakout tracks. You know, a couple. Yeah, you listen to fifteen ones. seconds well, of each song, and you you're like you ass. say if it you know is it this worthy of my time to listen? No, uh-huh. okay. So the ones so I did get some that were just like three songs on them. You know, they were still like a record, and they had the art on it, but it was just like three songs on it. Yeah, um, but. And some of them, I hate to say it, were just like... They are giving them away for, for basically free. <laughs> yeah, I mean, five bucks. I mean, and it's random. It's like, I'm pretty... I'm, like, happy I did it, but I did get, like, three that were just, like, pretty garbage. Also, disclaimer, we, we do are, not know the quality of these records. No, we don't, we actually, don't. at all. Um, they could be really great. They could be horrible. Horribly scratched. But, so the ones that I did enjoy... The, um. One I haven't even listened to because it's not on Spotify. I listen to it on YouTube, so I don't know if I'm going to play it. I just brought it in case. It is by uh, The Faith Healers. Um, that looks kind of cool. Yeah, from early 90s. What's, it, what's the album called? Um, Lido. How do you spell it? L-I-D-O. Right there. Lido. And, yeah, it's cool. It's, you know, rock. We should, get rock. Into, we should get into some yeah, of these. Yeah, we should. We How should. about we play... Uh, so I'm going to do the official secrets ad because this is my favorite. Uh, It's, I'm saying fun. It's a fun album to listen to. It has, it's by M or Robin Scott, which he has a really weird like track record on his music. If you go to his Spotify, it's like this album from 80, from 1980. 
And then there's like a ton of remixes of his one song, Pop Music, music spelled like M U Z I K or something. Yep. And it's it's wild. We I could even play a clip of that, but yeah. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna play the first. So he Robin Scott is M. Yeah. And on this, so WMUA likes to write on their records. Not the which records, I'm also not. A fan I wish they didn't write all over their, <laughs> their record sleeves. So, you know. But this is the description. They put little stickers with description, which I do like. They said, M or Robin Scott of pop music fame was a creative pop composer who faded into obs- obscurity without justice. He may be a direct ancestor of Moby. Moby Angie, shout out Angie got, or no, Chloe, right? Shout out Chloe got a, a Moby record. Moby Crepe? Moby the bald one. I know that he's just bald. Okay. <laughs> um, and I think that's who they're referring to. Uh, similarities to OMD, Gary Newman, and Blanc, 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 Blanc Mange. I don't know what that is. Blanc Mange. Blanc Mange. And on this, I it says know. promotional copy, not for sales. So. All right, let's get into okay, this. Let's get into this. Let's give him a background. Hurry up, Shaman! It's called the Official Secrets Act. It's a little bit of uh, it's got a theme. I think it's about this company, this guy in a company, and he's not supposed to say anything, and he's supposed to hold all these secrets. The two songs I want to play is Join the Party, and then Working for the Corporation. These are the second let's and do third it. song, respectively. We have to see how this turntable will work because it's going to be a little different than... Uh, you got it or you want me to come over? No, I got it. I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to turn this on. Shout out, turn it up, downtown Northampton. Okay, this isn't spinning. All right, keep them keep entertained, Jack. Wanna... All right, guys, so... Wait, I think I got it. Better have a needle on it. Wait, I'm going to turn it down a little. And it's going to be hard to get one song out of it, too. Well, you, cause like, usually you can see oh, when the songs start, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, guys, thank you for listening to Seamus and Froggy. We really appreciate it. I don't think there's a needle on this. Why don't you? No, I hear it. This is Join the Party. I am. This campaign Every candle represents a stake And somebody's got to cut the cake You got a reason to be excited It's party time and you're all invited Join the party A shangling party time Join the party A shangling party time
Um, yeah, that was uh, Join the Party. That was Join the Party, uh, Party Time by Robin Scott. It's not like it's over it. I can't hear it. I heard it. I heard it before. There we go. This is working for the corporation. It's official secrets. Screw act. capitalism, man. you guys like that ending that was a little abrupt but um oh wait you're not on say that again i said oh my god <laughs> guys frog loved that i'm sorry for that <laughs> that was a shameless song um i i knew you were gonna react <laughs> like that. For the <laughs> oh my gosh that was brutal it was a good song it that is a little repetitive brutal oh my god <laughs> yeah i the first for working for the corporation <laughs> jeez um yeah <laughs> did you like the the first song though? I thought the first song was alright. I I did not it's like enjoyable. that song. I thought you said they're hype party songs. No, Isn't I said it's said? I said, well the it's join the party. I said it is a party song. And I guess it is a party song. <laughs> I'm working for I got next time I go to a a fat banger. I, I gotta pull out working for the corporation. And uh <laughs> it'll bring the dance floor down. I got all the I don't know. They have they give you a little lyric. What are they sheet. liner notes or whatever? Yeah, whatever you call them. Oh, also, my dad corrected me. Charles Mingus is a bass player. He's not a trumpeter. Foolish, foolish. Um, yeah. <laughs> my dad texts me and goes, "Working for dot dot dot. We're working for the corporation." <laughs> yes, we are. Oh, that was so Mr. bad. Mr. Frogamini. <laughs> funny guy. Funny guy. Um, but I think those worked well back to back to win the party and working for the corporation. That's been what I've been listening to uh, 
repeatedly for the past week or so. But uh, you've been listening to <laughs> what did you just say? I've been listening to those songs pretty religiously. Um, yeah, <laughs> but the, so the one on Spotify has an extra six songs. This album, the Official Secrets Act, and they do have some. You know, it's pretty good music. But yeah, let's. What do you have? Because I know you got some good. All right, records. guys. So I'm not going to play the Mingus album. I'm not going to play the the you know random soundtrack. I am going to play one song off of the Smashing Pumpkins album. Um, so the track list, there's three songs. I'm the one. I am one. Excuse me. Flume. Plume. Plume. Flume is a band, I think. I don't know why I said that. I don't know. Plume and Starla. Plume, I think, is the best song. Unfortunately, it's explicit, so I can't play it. Because mm-hmm. you know how the FCC is. They just like to... Oh, FCC. You know... American bureaucracy. <laughs> you know how it goes. But, uh, bureaucrats. There's um, I'm a I'm a big comedy fan, and there's a uh, there's this guy Norm Macdonald. He just passed away a couple months ago, but um, That's his his hero was Dave Letterman, right? Yep. And he said he saw Letterman live when he was a kid, and Letterman Letterman uh was doing this joke about how he loved to ride off the backs of uh. Bureaucrats? Or no, no, no. He he would follow. Uh, he would follow the trash uh, truck. What are they called? <laughs> dump trucks. Yeah, dump trucks. <laughs> he would he would follow the dump trucks too closely, and uh, on the on the uh, back of the dump truck there was a sign and it said, "No following within fifty yeah. <laughs> feet." And he said, "Ladies and gentlemen, another example of America's <laughs> meddling bureaucracy." <laughs> I know why won't they let I us follow know. those construction vehicles? Yeah. You just want to see where they're going, man. Um, um, but wait, before you say that, shout out Chloe. We love you. She said, "Chloe who? Chloe B. Chloe Louis B. Louis. Okay, shout out Chloe B. I Louis. really liked working for the corporation. So did we, Chloe? I so do didn't. We. <laughs> I did not. I um. I know, like." All the all the like cool people probably think it's awesome. I I <laughs> yeah, just couldn't stand cool. it to be honest. I just thought it was too much. Can I indulge, Chloe? What is the Louis? Uh, uh, I don't know. Like, what is with the Louis? I don't understand. Or am I not allowed to ask that question? If you want to DM us, I'm gonna say it. Live DMs. I want to hear what you guys think about these albums. Um, We're working for, for the, the cool. Cor- but but Shames and Froggy on Instagram, S E A M U S and Froggy. DM us how you feel. Uh yeah, keep it real, Frog. I know you want to play that. Yeah. So which so it's which track song? number two? No three. A side. I think so. No, it's probably B side because uh, it's eleven oh, minutes oh, long. So yeah, these are the. This is you got to skip five songs. minutes in. This is which one did you want? Starla. And you want me to I five minutes into Starla? Yeah. Well, like if it's the whole. Wait, let me see that. Starla is big. Eat. Talk. Talk. I'm talking. Talk shit. Um, talk shit. Guys, I had a really scary moment this morning. I woke up and my arm was, I think I was sleeping on my arm the whole night. And I woke up and it was like numb, all fully limp, which I've never done before. And I was what? actually pretty scared. I was like, oh, I, you know what? This is a goner. My arm is gone. I was like throwing it around. I was with my other hand and I could not get it to move. It was a little... It was a scare. Okay, so <laughs> for Starla, yeah, I can't... I, I Is this live? Is this a live album? Um, Whatever. I, just You can just play it. it. Yeah, but I did... Yeah, B, B2, Starla. Yeah. I did get my arm to work, guys. It, uh, what were you saying? You had a nightmare? Your arm fell no, off? No, no, no. <laughs> it was a real life, and it was very scary. My... Uh, I fell asleep on my arm, and I was trying to. I couldn't get it to move in the morning. I had the I had the weirdest dream last night that I actually remember. I usually don't remember my dreams these days. Mm -hmm. I had a dream that Bill Burr's wife, Nia, died, and it was all over the news. She died because she's only like in her forties. That's crazy. And it was like, oh my god, poor Bill. Um, You're gonna have to. So you want me to five minutes into this song, like halfway. Yeah, you can just start from uh yeah. I'll yeah, do, ha- like, do halfway. I'll do like here. Oh. We'll see if this works. Um turn it on. Yeah.
Interesting. Very interesting. Mind-numbing. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know what else was interesting? That you. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. It wasn't. It wasn't James's fault. Uh, even though. It. Okay. So basically, guys, for some background info, the album. It's a it's, it's album, a though. it's a forty five minute however long what LP, but no. since there's only three songs, since hand. there's only three songs, it's not an LP then. That's not an LP. LP. It's not a full length LP, but it comes in an LP. Okay, so it's an EP. But that those are just recorded songs, live recorded songs. The, what are what are we were talking about? The Smashing Pumpkins <laughs> album, right? <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Whatever. You know I'm what? wrong. If you want to... Yeah, an LP is a long play. An EP is an extended play. Even though it's shorter, it's a long play. LP is a long as in it's lengthened from an EP. That's, yeah, that's some schooling right there. Guys, if you're ever wondering the difference, there you go. Seamus mm-hmm. has got all the info. How do you like that song? Uh, no, it was good. We mainly just listened to the guitar solo, but it was pretty good. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I was basing that off of the, like I said, I couldn't find a recording. I didn't do too much in-depth research, um, but I was trying to find one on Spotify. I should have just went to YouTube, but I don't know why I didn't. For Starla? Yeah, it was it was only the studio recording. Mm-hmm. But it was good, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it's good. Entertaining. Uh, we did have it on a slower rpm um because i uh, my guess is that with these uh records that have like three songs on it they like lengthen i don't know the grooves out or whatever you would say and you they so we had to set it at a faster rpm for it to sound you know as it's intended very true yeah um frog i do want to call you out on something Here but i go. don't know if you have it nor i don't know if I, if you swear Call in this away. video. Um, do you have, do you recall a video you posted on Snapchat of some mulch on a nice a spring? D- it was oh, a wait. video. <laughs> and oh, I yeah. kind of, well, I, I don't know if it's, you swear in that. But I, My, s- yeah. Uh, I do have the video. I, wanna, I want you um, to play Also, that. my dad said it was better in slow motion. Was it? Yeah, we didn't. That's hear- why I didn't. I didn't think anything yeah. of it because it sounded like normal almost. I think it was, he. There was singing right as we started it, but we couldn't really hear it. Okay. Um, I don't know, but so Frog posted this video, yeah. and I saw this, and I really thought I said, "I think he's lost it. He is I didn't fully say anything. gone." No, you scream. You go. <laughs> you go mulch. Yes. <laughs> I think we're thinking. You're about making them. that up. No, I'm not. You're making that up. I'm looking at the video right now. I typed in all oh, caps. You typed. I go. I, a- I go. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's get that mulch going. <laughs> See, I heard it in my head when I. You know, said, mulch adds character to uh, landscapes, the uh, color and I, uh, <laughs> the smell is smells uh, putrid. Yeah. But you know, I like mulch. So yeah, he, just as much as the next guy, maybe he, a little more. He posted a video of him filming piles of mulch, typed in all caps. Yes, mulch. Let's, let's get that mulch going. Let's yeah. get that. Mulch Come on, man. Going. You, you know, you listen to lost I'm it, working man. for the corporation <laughs> and American. that's that's normal, but I get a little over enthusiastic <laughs> about some mulch and I'm I'm the weirdest guy in the world. You know what? You are, man. I'll I'll let the uh the listeners of, of Shames and Froggy <laughs> decipher yeah, DM uh, us. Um I'm mulching for the corporation, man. You're mulching for the corporation. What's yeah. that supposed to mean? <laughs> I wish um we should have did the sound effects before, so we could have just played them randomly. But well, we could do that before. You want to do it right now? Should we? Should we finish off the vinyl? The whole thing? sale? Because I have other vinyl records I want to play. Just yeah. a couple songs. So we'll do but, the sale. Then yeah. Okay. So how well, many other have, albums do you have? I have. Did you get the Young Fresh Fellows from the vinyl sale? Yep. Okay. So I, I might not play them depending on how long we have. I want to listen to Zebu. Yeah, I am gonna play Zebu. Is it over there? Yeah. So for some background, I got this record, Secret Vinyl Sale, Zebu on the. Co- oh, actually, let me take this oh, off. Oh, you know what? I got a Spinatron that. A spinatron that, please. Zebu is a local Amherst band. Local. I think it's Northampton. I actually have the details, but I'm thinking of the record. Um, and this is an LP called uh chill wave and 
let me find the album. On the record, WMUA likes to put on little stickers that tell info about it. This came out in 2012, I believe. And it says 50% local. Spat. Oh, sorry. Spazzed oh, out. Oh, ASMR? Yeah. <laughs> Spazzed out surf slash punk slash weirdo slash freakouts. The ironically titled sellout LP, which I don't really know how that relates because it's called Chill Wave. Yeah, one second. It's called Chill Wave and it's not really, I don't know if they sold out with this one. But it is two people. I think Zebu has another member in it now, but on this record, it's just two, Ted Lee and Steven Diag... Diag... Oh, Diag... I, you know, Diagostino? I, yeah, there you go. I, Are I, you serious? Yeah, you couldn't pronounce dude, that? I, it's something. Something with my speech. Has, but, it, has it always been like that? I, I just can't, dude. I'm stuttering right now. It's just Diagostino. <laughs> Diagostino. No. Let me see it again. Let me see it. Yeah, it is. I don't know why I couldn't say it. But... Yeah, so they, uh, I have notes on it. Let me search this. Um, Chill Wave, 2012. Zebu was formed in Hampshire College in 2003. And Stephen D'Agostino. After I got this, they were playing a, a show in Greenfield in, uh, last Thursday, and I didn't get to go. Oh, why didn't you bucks. go? Thursday, dude, I was study- studying like crazy. Oh, yeah, you had a shout out uh, all the. What, what class was that? Uh, modern physics. Modern physics students. Shout out. Um, yeah, it was it was uh, it was okay. But and so they're getting back out on the streets. You know, Be, they kind of stopped playing for a bit. And then I'm seeing posters of everywhere for it at Mystery Train Record. I saw a poster of it. Zebu and someone else. Um, I want to tag them so they know us. I want Zebu to come. That would be pretty cool. But this uh, album, can I see it? I'm gonna put it on. Yes, I'm going to play Chill Wave. Three really sh- One's a really short song. Wait, so did I already ask this? What year did this come out? Uh, 2012. 2012, okay. And they were formed in 2003. Wow. And the front has a little, like, boulders and water. It's pretty cool, but WMUA wrote Zebu Chill Wave LP all over the front, so a little disappointing. Chill Wave. Chill Wave. But I'm going to play three songs. One's, like, 40 seconds, intro, side B, uh, then, oh, this is going to be hard to see where this is. No, I can see. Uh, then two other songs, Surfing Jordan and Pomegranate. And most of these songs, it's, I don't, Chill Wave is supposed to be like a surfy, punk, freaky, weirdo. Get to it. They're all surfing twin, sugar shell, surfing myrtle, like a lot of surfing in this. But yeah, the first song is Trapped in Eternity. It's a little sad, but I, I liked it and I think it's a good uh, intro to oh, it. Boy. It's sad it's, boy. It's, it's sad boy. <laughs> It's different than the uh, the whole album, but Surfing Jordan, then Pomegranate. Start off with Trapped in Eternity. Let's see. Keep on talking. We need to we need to get the Seamus Sad Boy aesthetic going. Get some cross earrings. Paint your earrings. nails. Yeah. Maybe a little. Anything else? Little. Actually, the haircut's kind of almost okay. there. You know, you just got to work with it a little bit. Um. Let's see if this plays. I hope it didn't already start. Yeah. Sounds good to me. It took me a while. Oh, oh it's too fast now, see? Uh-uh. And now I can't turn it. I can't switch the button. This is annoying. Why not? I don't know. I won't click. Oh, there we go. All right. Let me go back. I guess I can. No, I just start. Just start from there. Okay. Refused. Oh. Sorry, guys. There we go. And I could love you so easily. But now I cannot flee So drive me out to the beach And drown me Cause all this agony is killing me And I could love you so easily But now I cannot flee yeah, so that was Trapped in Eternity. I'm going to switch to the next song, which is one song. I don't only. necessarily consider that the embodiment of Chill no, Wave, that though. Is that, that was not representative of this album at all. I just wanted to play that as an intro. I, that was a hype, if you will. You don't use that word correctly <laughs> all right. at all. I have to I'm say, I've noticed you throw that word around. Uh, it's pretty hype. This, yeah, that was hype. Uh, Surfing Jordan, I think. Keep it real, guys.
Yeah, so that was Surfing Jordan. Um, it's going straight into. <laughs> you go yeah that was zebu relax um, with me underneath the pomegranate tree yeah it's good um uh, it that was their album chill wave um, i thought the genre so wmua wmua i always <laughs> mumble through that Don't um <laughs> yeah. they write all over the albums they they gave away so i thought they were just saying the genre was chill wave no that is the the album album name name. and that i that they do have a sticker that says the ironically titled sellout lp so chill wave is it's ironic i don't know it was pretty most of the music was like that it was like kind of surfy vibes it's yeah um if it was ironic i think that would make a little more sense it was a little like if, if you go to their Spotify, they do look kind of crazy, um, but yeah, but that that was you know I liked listening to that album. Um, I'm gonna pull you know, that off. Local artists, you know, I always gotta support them. We will. This is our plan right now, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna. I got one more album. Well, I have more, but I'm only gonna play one more. I'm gonna play one song because it. I don't I don't know why they sample this one part from another song, but they do. And then um, they have a, an album, Zebu called Owsley. And yeah, is, that's the it, new one, right? Twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen, and it's just a bunch of different, what, um, like strands of acid. Yeah, that's the picture for it. But I uh, is your mic on? Your but those are on? all the names of the songs. Oh yeah. Well, there's one called Western Mass, which I actually listened to that song. I have that on a playlist now. And it's it's just I'm going like Western Mass, yeah. Um, that so sounds I, amazing. <laughs> so I'm gonna quiz you. I'm gonna like oh the God. Seamus and uh, Froggy game last week where Frog had to guess 
one second of a song after I play it, or what song it was. I have this is the band I have now is the Young Fresh Fellows from the eighties from Washington State, Pacific Northwest. Oh, this is uh, this is intriguing. But I I want you to there. These are the Young Fresh Fellows. I want you to look on Spotify right now. Search them up, the Young Fresh Fellows. Oh, I'm doing it. They click their uh, and tell me if those those that group of uh, lads are some Young Fresh Fellows. Cause uh, um, they look like they're all like fifty. <laughs> they definitely are fresh though with their fedoras. <laughs> they don't look fresh at all. <laughs> but I I just searched them Picture up. Picture book is that a cover of yeah, uh, the Kinks song? Yeah, which okay. is kind of sad. It's the most popular. Um, it wasn't. It's not a bad album. Uh, it's starting off strong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna play you my favorite song on this. I'm gonna play this song called Picky Piggy. Oh um, God, help and me, and I want guys. If you're listening right now, help just remember I'm being held hostage right now. I don't think you say that. Um, I'm just gonna play picky piggy, picky piggy, dude. <laughs> I do, okay. So they call it this, and in the beginning of the song, oops, dude, I'm shaking. I can't even believe that these guys like made their own vinyl records, though. Um. Oh damn! Wait, let me go back. Hey, hey, watch your D words, hey, dude. Dang man. Uh, uh, let's see if you can tell me what song this is. I don't know. You tell for yourself. We're back. This is Shameless and Froggy. WMUA Amherst. 91.1. FM. Oh, wait. I already did. 91.1. 1. (laughs) FM. Um, (laughs) How's it going, everybody? You just listened to some PSAs. Before that was Picky Piggy. I actually like that song. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't too bad. Um, There are better songs on that album. I just wanted to see your thoughts on why they sampled that, that intro. Do you think just yeah. for the name, Piggies? Because yeah. they're like, well, oh, it's, they're paying homage to uh, the Beatles, to the greats, you know. I j- okay. Uh, um, we have a Beatles record here. We're gonna tinker around with probably at the end of the episode. Yeah. But I genuinely think that the Beatles are the most influential musicians of all time. I you could make a debate as if like I don't think a lot of people will debate you on that. Is the thing. Well, okay, I would debate debate myself yeah, personally. Who else would you say like Zeppelin? No, or just I'm like not the just rock no, classics, I no, like, I mean like, um, like Mozart and Beethoven. Oh, that, oh Chuck Berry, 
Chuck Berry, yeah. I, I would I would definitely throw him into the conversation too. Yeah. But I mean influential too, maybe Sugar Hill Gang. Gangster's Paradise or whatever, you know. Yeah. Hip hop would For you know, do 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 you know, uh they started hip hop, you know, and uh Chuck Berry started rock and roll yep. and the Beatles started commercial music and commercial where you can make music. a career out of being a musician you pretty think much. So. I mean, obviously I you had your Elvises, you had your Elvises and yeah, whoever Elvis. else, but like they they're making an Elvis movie. Do you see that? I saw that with Tom Hanks in it. It looked good. <sighs> Do you think they need to stop making No, I don't. remaking these No, movies? I don't cuz you, see the you know what? One? I did. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was great. I didn't watch the Elton John one, but I did not watch. I've watched the Queen one, but I don't. You know what? It at all. There's there's some really remarkable stories out there. Why not just like expose everyone to them and give the give the nitty gritty? Mm-hmm. Like I don't see anything wrong with that. No, um, Hollywood these days though are just they're just making the same movies over and over. Like make Harry Potter part like but, twenty or something. But that's why these are good. Um, those. Those, There's uh, a template, stories. but isn't there a yeah. template with every every movie genre? No, yeah, there is. Um, or most of them. And it's impressive how the artists who play like the said musicians are very talented in themselves in singing those songs. Yeah, um, yeah but uh, I don't know. We can transition from that. Yeah, let's oh, we're let's pick up the pace on this. I'm really excited here. <laughs> um, Frog, do you want to... Oh, should we talk about the record store, too? Because I, I had some Yeah, stuff so, on. guys, if you didn't know, there was a record store in downtown Amherst. Shout out Mystery Train Records. Yeah. Um, I was there on Saturday. Seamus was there today, uh-huh. earlier. And um, Saturday, I picked up a lot of Were you stuff. only there, or did you go to Turn It Up? No, I, I, don't, I mean, Turn Up's in Northampton. I didn't, yeah. I didn't go all the way out to Northampton. You I was say just it like area. it's really that far. It's not too far. It's okay, like well... extra. Ten. You're saying that in context of Amherst. Sometimes I still think of yeah. it in context of living at home, See, which I've is never, it's a 40 yeah. minute difference. And you used to go to Northampton like a lot. In Agawam, from Agawam? Um, a decent amount, just because I have family. Shout out to my family, the Frog Meanies Frog and Meanies. Florence. Right. Um, to, but yeah, what was the appeal of going there? The record store, like uh, I mean, North besides your family, yeah. Was well, it's like, one of it's one of the most. Um, Accessible downtown Stagwell. city slash yeah. suburban areas. No, it is in Western Mass. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's you nice can't really walk around here. Springfield. No, no disrespect to Springfield. <laughs> no, why not? Um, you did once, right? You got a. You I've, got a gun I've shot done it a couple. In your, uh, yeah, <laughs> I got robbed. I don't know. I don't. No, dude, I know people who've been robbed just walking really? around Springfield. Yeah, it's it's not a safe place to walk around. Um, they lived in Springfield. Yeah, I don't live in Springfield. That's that's why the that's why the cops in my town are are pretty. Uh, there we go. No, I'm serious. <laughs> There's a lot of crime in Springfield, so yeah. the cops in my town overcompensate, and it's like you can't even walk around without a cop like uh-huh. pulling over, being like, "Why are you walking around at night? Yeah, well, why are you trying to mug that person? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, let's get to this album. But wait, I have some oh, stuff yeah, about yeah, yeah. Mystery Train Records. Okay, so let's hear it. so I, I went today because. We knew we were going to be doing vinyls today. Sorry, records today. <sighs> <laughs> and I wanted to... There's a lot of different like ways you can mess around with these. You can go front, back, reverse, you know, speed up, slow down. And I wanted to get some records that had back masking on it, which is the art of when... The art of making your music so that when it is played in reverse, it plays either a message or the instrumentals change. Um, and I wanted to buy an album and I know there's a lot. There's ELO has a several actually they, so they on their album, um, what was it? El Dorado, not El Dorado. Um, I don't, I forget what it was, but they had a little satanic message and everyone started freaking out. And then they came out with an album called secret messages, which, um, I I don't know why Spotify's not working. Is it a secret message if they're broadcasting to the world that, hey, these are secret messages? Well, uh, that doesn't sound like a secret to me. uh, Then on secret messages, they had, um, yeah, El Dorado, the one with uh, the Wizard of Oz, the feet. I don't know. Dorothy and the Strange Magic, I think, is on it. But, yeah, so they have a lot of backmasking on it, and I wanted to find one. And I went, and I was looking around. They had a lot of good records. But I asked them, too. I was like, hey, do you have any of these records? And the lady was like, yeah, I always thought that was, like, 
not real. And I was like, you own a record shop. How was, is this? What, what was not real? The back masking. It was like made up or it was all like, you know, all talk. And I was like, you own a record. I mean, I didn't say this to her face, but they're nice people. They're very nice people. And I was like, how do you not know anything about this? So then I was like, I know the wall has one in empty spaces. And I was going to get, I was looking and that was 33 bucks. And I wasn't going to, nope. business expense. All right. <laughs> We should get we should get to this. All right, you. I feel like we're dragging. Give him the background. I'm telling about the story. Okay, this is an album I bought at Mystery Train Records. It's comedy album, comedy sound effects. I don't know what what year is this, Seamus? What year is this? Yeah. (laughs) Um, I don't. 1983. This is awesome. So so it's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks good. Um. We have no no idea what these sound like. I think it's going to sound pretty goofy. Uh, what's the speed I have to do on this one? I don't care. I don't care. We'll figure it out. I don't care. But yeah. Um, and we, we have a game that's going to go along to it too. So uh, <laughs> that's the burp. Yep, just keep burping. <laughs> <laughs> really just... Can you put that up a little bit? Yeah, sure. Oh, oh my these God. are really some of these are childish. Actually, I don't think we're are we even allowed to play like stuff like that on air? I think we're not allowed to like. You make that with your mouth, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> Frog, calm down, man. But <laughs> <laughs> so these are comedy sounds you guys are hearing. This is not us making this. This is a, a record with this. It sounds like someone's um, sleeping. Are we just gonna? We're listening to this. This is on the side one. This is the human sounds, guys. It does sound like someone's sleeping. Um, And I can stop and play. But should I just keep playing this? Or do you want to switch around? But are there any good ones coming up? Or is it going to... It's definitely someone snoring for a while. There's men snoring and then drunks snoring, too. (laughs) And I think this is the... (laughs) 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 I don't know is that a drunken person this is hilarious Um, I don't know what you were going to do with this album though after (laughs) besides this oh my gosh this is hilarious Um, so we can also change the speed go a little a little fast, if we don't it sounded like uh, three seconds. No, do it faster, there. do it faster. I, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of this. Like I didn't realize. Well, because if you're little. sampling it, you know. That's true. Um, I can change the <laughs> it's Yeah, this is a little. All right, let's get. Okay, to the let's next do. One. Let's get. I'm skipping out of uh, human. I'm gonna. Yeah. Get ready? Do you want human? Oh, I want. I want fights. Fights? I want fights, yeah. This is, this is all I've I hope ever it's not wanted. actual English. I no. was like, yeah. Yeah. This is a a turn biff? No, tum turn biff. Yeah, I don't think they would swear. Yeah, this is a brawl. You guys are hearing a brawl go down right now. Tum biff. Like this one. No, no. Yeah. Um is it a tumble or a tumbiff? It says tumbiff, space, two words. Um, and I do want to use these, but this is so inconvenient. I bet you can find this on Spotify somewhere. Uh, yes, yeah, the fight. I'm going to skip past this one. Um, I don't want to. Um, keep I'll keep talking. Um, guys, I got this record for 650 I would say it's a steal. That is a steal. It's an awesome. It looks so cool. It, it does look really cool, and it's obviously like kind of useless, but that's probably why it's such good condition. Um, what's this? Wind? This is... I don't know what this is. Math. <laughs> I want, if we're playing a game with this, I don't want to tell you all the names. Are you doing the game? Or, well, I mean, I'm I can do the game. So. I'll do the game. <laughs> but you did that game with me, and I... You did the really guess that sound, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. that. These are well, fights. It's, yeah, it's whatever. I, I don't care. Let's do crashes. I want to crash. Um, this is side one. Yeah, four, two. Let's hear some crashes. <laughs> Highly exciting episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, I can't tell you what is. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> crashes? It sounds like he's hitting a punching bag. A, this could be a a desperate entry. This could. That's be. what it's called. It co- I, I don't know. <laughs> this could be. See, it's they don't have individual grooves, so it's. <laughs> um, no frog, get off that ladder! Oh come on, <laughs> <laughs> frog! No. <laughs> That's brutal. <laughs> Frog, put down. Please put that down. Frog, not the car. Don't get in the car. <laughs> Don't crash this UFO into a church spire. Oh, man. That's the name. I kind of swear. It's see, UFO I see. crashing into a church spire? This could be UFO crashing into church spire. This is goofy. This, this is goofy. This hey. is this is tough. This is tough. This is tough. Well, what do you want? Can here? I see? Can I see the, the album? Game? Yeah, I'm just gonna switch around to it. Um, can you go I can't to? Go backwards on this, which is really annoying. Uh, can you go to Impact for Impact B on the first side? Impacts it's side two. Side. side two. Impacts B. All the ones on A. These are these are um, some of the sounds. Okay. Klong, bang, do yo 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 and then whoosh, bing, bang, do yo and then do yo pop, do yo ing. Oh my god. Do yo Yeah, you can't go backwards on this one. They're pretty fun. I don't know what, what do you, what do you think you're going to do with this after, uh, nothing? It's nothing. just going to be display. <laughs> It's going to be Froggy's comedy sound effects. Oof. How do you even use... I mean, why would... I, I have no use for this. Yeah. Besides... Besides this. I, I mean... The album looks really cool. It does and look it's really funny. cool. Um, I think... If I'm ever a producer, which could that. happen, I would totally... We, so I'm saying we make our own... We should make our own sound effects. No, 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 no. I can't do it. Ready? I don't know what's some. Uh, you're good at. I feel like they're also. Yeah, I am. Uh, they're also <laughs> spaced out a lot. <laughs> they are, and it's it's. It would be impossible um. to use one of these. Oh, God, I like the bubbles <laughs> underwater. It would be impossible to use this. This has got. This has got to be one of the worst episodes. No, this? I'm just no, next week's episode is going to be. Worse. Oh, this isn't a bad episode. I was having a blast right here. Um, <laughs> um, go. Right, what else? What else? They got? All right. To those who are listening right now, um, we appreciate your dedication to the show. Uh, you listen to Shams and Froggy, man. This is space sounds. Can you go to animals? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I do. I think I have a problem. If I see records, I just like... Oh, there's footsteps, too. If I like... Oh, that's <laughs> perfect. Uh, which one is that on? No, go to animals first. Six animals. Uh, Side one, excuse me. They have a frog? <laughs> what is this? What animal is this? <laughs> this is the frog. It's a donkey. That's a donkey. You can tell that like people made all these, too. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like um, it does sound like Three Stooges. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess the animal. Yeah, I'll guess the animal. You yeah, I guess the animal. Right. I guess the animal. That's a right. person <laughs> doing. <laughs> what what that, animal? Is that's this? a horse, man. <laughs> oh my God. This is not a living He's being. He's like <laughs> slobbering all over himself. That's a sheep. Got that. You think it's actually you human sheep. Really? Is that what it says? That's what it says, but like aren't these all human you, I don't know. They don't you don't think they just record animals? No, you think you think they're all No, humans? I don't think so, because that it's comedy sound effects. True. When would you even use this? <laughs> when like, you're like if you're uh, talking if this about is nineteen eighty four, what do you use this in? So the other day, um I was I was pasturing my sheep. I was pasture wait, I was going to my pasture. And I uh, got my little sheep herding dog. And uh, it sets it up. It sets up the mood. <laughs> this is um, a hippo. 
What? <laughs> what is it? That's cow. Easy. Well, the one before was sad dog. Oh. No, that's a sheep. Silly moose. Silly moose. Moose. Silly moose. As a cow. Moose. They are funny names. I do like the names. Guess what this is. I don't... This is probably disturbing to listen to. Like, <laughs> someone munching on something. I don't be surprised if we had, like, three listeners at this point. <laughs> I swear to God, this is just... Whoa, I want to go backwards on this, but you can't go backwards on the other S- record this player is we could. Munching Crocodile. Um, that... Ugh. Um... I think that's it. I think it's over. No. Oh, snake. 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 Yeah. Flying rattlesnake landing. Jeez, that's loud. Damn. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Wait, don't take that off yet. There's one more I want to hear. Very good. A cat. A cat. Is, is a cat puking? Cat with hiccups. <laughs> Hairball. Hiccoughs. Hiccough. It is from... I think it's British. It's BBC Yeah, BBC recording. records have records. Oh, my God. Have produced a superb total of 27 sound effect albums. Oh, reverse. I'm so stupid. There's a big button that says reverse. <laughs> Go to the laughing. Go to the laughing. Wait, laughter and applause. Oh, yeah. There's one that says <laughs> maniacal laughter. This is what I wanted. <laughs> Say a joke. <laughs> um, <laughs> now. Say a joke. Yeah. Seamus has no. lots of friends. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's not a joke. That's a reality that I face every day. <laughs> Wait, that didn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, Seamus. Is this in reverse? No. That would be crazy. Um, I want to hear the maniacal laughter and then put it in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Um, Seamus, you are a clown, man. Look at you. Look at what you're wearing. You're goofy. Look what you're wearing. Tall, lanky. Guys, look at, look at what he's wearing. <laughs> There's a sweatshirt. He's got the hair going down all over his eyes. He's got the, the Buddy Holly glasses. Look at this dude. Come on, man. Stop. <laughs> Guys. Guys. Give me a break. <laughs> look at this fool. Um, yeah. <laughs> they can't contain themselves. No. This is horrible. I got yes. <laughs> this is so bad. I'm oh, so sorry, is. guys. I wish we had more jokes prepared for that. <laughs> it would be better if we uh, prepared. This is uh, like, it's like pretty weak cla- uh, clapping. Though. Like, Can we do the, some of my material? Yeah. I you got, got yeah? jokes in there. Yeah, give me one. Yeah, lay it on me, man. Uh, I'll actually, I don't one. know if I can actually say any of this stuff on air. What do you mean? You'll just filter it. I literally can't. All right, I'll pause it. <laughs> oh, keep going. Say a joke. Um, just give me a small one. I literally can't. What do you mean? What is you? What are you writing about? <laughs> I can't read any of this stuff on air. What do you read? Like, okay, I can't I think even. You need a family sit- friendly eyes. Your jokes, man. I do. You do. Hey, when you go to the nook and you're up against <laughs> Buddha Joe, man, you can't just Buddha Joe's ruthless. You can't just be saying knock knock jokes, man. You gotta bring your egg in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should make our own uh, sound effect. Here's the verse. <laughs> this is hers. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> All right, go back in the normal one. Speed it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Whoa. Oh. That sounds like the Minions. You know, they're like making the another Minions. That sounds like the Minions. Go back, go back, Frog go back. Loves it sounds like the Minions. Frog loves the Minions. He talks about them all the time. I have Minion underwear on right now. Yeah, I know. Well, I don't know that, but... Banana. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, it sounded like the Minions. Yeah, like the minions. Oh. I want to hear the maniacal laughing. That was it. That was it, that, that was? Out? That was a Minion sound effect. <laughs> yeah. I'm sick of the Minions. That did sound like Minions. Okay, let's do... We can't do this much longer. Yeah. <laughs> let's do... I like the crashes. <laughs> oh, we should go to birds and do the birds backwards. Oh, Those would probably sound crazy. The birds backwards? <laughs> Mating cry of the lesser spotted Ooh. All right, here we go. Everybody. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't know what would. Uh... Did pretty well on my uh, my theoretical physics exam, guys. Wait, pause on guys, applaud if you think <laughs> Seamus is annoying. Yeah, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the board. <laughs> <laughs> Clap. No. 
I'm not doing that. <laughs> all right, I'm we gotta this. go this to stupid. Go to the bird. Go to the bird noises. <laughs> this right. whole all show. Right. I know our whole our awesome. whole show is stupid. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's why it's funny. This is it. Lady, wait, ready, ready. It's over. Ladies and gentlemen, Seamus and Froggy. Oh! Oh, our job. number one fans. We got so many of them. <laughs> that was good. See, we need something like that. I would reuse these, but... It was... <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Go to the birds. Frog be like... <laughs> <laughs> That's, like, scary, dude. <laughs> Just imagine, like, this sweaty British guy making those noises in the studio. <laughs> so, There's a little mustache. What are you... T- <laughs> oh, no, that's gross. Um, yeah, that's that's nasty. Oh, that's like the SpongeBob. Go to the Christmas go to the birds, special. man. I want Where? go to the end of the birds and then start playing them backwards. Squidward's like, I feel like a. Yeah. Uh, a uh, uh, Which one, birds, is on? Uh, Bur- number two, that, side two. I see Fritz, yeah. Oh, oh. oh my god! And there goes my record, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, footsteps. Frog, don't look behind you. Wait, wait. Frog? Oh, this is like low key. There's a guy with the Shame is, Shame is trying to sneak out of the house that night. <laughs> Creaky steps. This is more like the do 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 Human, fights, <laughs> footsteps, crashes, laughter and applause, animals, Frog bizarre. Is that a category? Oh, do bizarre. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh my God. There's a lot of Some of these are not, some of these aren't. One. Ba- one of these is called, I don't even think I can say it on air. What is Let's that? just say it sounds. It's spelled similar to ogre. Are these gonna be really gross? It's sounds? spelt similar to ogre, and then in parentheses it says with whips and screams. This <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> is just screaming. What? This is bizarre. Yeah. It's beginning a side one or side two, right? Yeah. No. This is yeah. bizarre. Horror toilet. Oh, I mean, that, this is horror toilet. Uh, this is not. What is this? Oink oink. Are you sure this isn't gas stove dropped? That was that tree what I sag that. and crash. What's this? This what? is tree sag and crash. Yeah. We should. Uh, these, these are not good sound effects. Who made these? The BBC. The cork pop and guzzle in the basement. Slurp. Play. Go go towards the end of section side. Uh, bizarre. There's one that says wild boars having tea. Typewriter. Three-handed BBC typist. Yeah. This is horrible. I'm sorry, guys. No, you know we thought this would be a little more entertaining. Yeah. Well, there's (laughs) too much space in between them. Yeah. And we don't have any. We're not that. It's funny. Wild boars having tea, everybody. Oh no, piano dragged along. <laughs> uh, I don't know. This is just god awful. It's monotonous. Cool, cool record though. Where'd you find that in the record? In found mystery it in mystery train. train. Yeah, but like where in mystery train? Um, I don't know. I just found it in the middle, <laughs> and I was like, gotta have it. That doesn't make it. It's like all categories. Was it in a category? Or was it in like recently? I don't know. It might yeah. have been in a comedy category. I can't remember. True, that would make sense. Can we just play uh, the birds and play them backwards, <laughs> please? Okay. Because uh, I don't think we we could do this much longer. Yeah, I don't want two. We probably just lost all of our listeners. Did you put at the end of two? Or in the beginning. This is backwards. No, it's pretty good. this isn't birds. This should be birds. It's this electric like, woodpecker. This is like uh, the Lorax. Or something. This is a duck. Wait, system. go to the end. Go to the end of the section. I want to play them backwards. 
neurotic duck. That's scary. It's, it's, it's not like music, though, where playing it backward is... <laughs> it's just really creepy sounds. <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. All right, what that's was hilarious. It? You gotta man. read it backwards. Speed it up. <laughs> Mating oh, cry of the lesser spotted uha. Oh no! I think that was the indisposed chicken. Uh, yeah, that might have been. Well, which way? You gotta read it backwards, man. That's, that's a chicken. The that's chicken. a chicken. <laughs> Play it backwards. What is the sound? Uh, uh, f- frog, come fight me. What's that? You won't do it? That's you. A, little chicken. a backwards, backwards clucking chicken? chicken. <laughs> Alright, what's the next one? I don't know. You're the one holding it. <laughs> no, but as I was saying, I would have got the wall, but... Oh, God. <laughs> I, I can't imagine someone sitting in their car. like with Yeah, their whoever's listening probably hates us. We should stop doing this. Um, this, is, this is horrible. Yeah. <laughs> This is actually horrible. It was, it was really appealing at first, but... Oh, that actually sounds pretty good. Irish Nightingale. Hmm. Um, but I did All right, let's get, take that. I did want to get The Wall, because that horrible. is one of my top favorite albums. We should do... Um, we could play music. <laughs> we, could, but, <laughs> we could play music. But... Um, <laughs> yeah. So, what do we have? I have... When I was at Mystery Train uh, yesterday... I got Ginger Baker's Air Force uh, live on vinyl. And I'm going to say, I didn't. No, take that. You take that off. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, my God, man. You well, talk. yeah. You, um, talk. you talk, yeah. I got it on vinyl, and I have never seen, like, a spin off Ginger Baker record in person. Ever. Yeah, it was a great find. And, um,. I wanted to get it, and I got it. It was pretty cheap, and, um, you know, uh, Steve Winwood's on it, and Graham Bond is on it. And for those of you who don't... Yeah, shout out Steve Winwood and Graham Bond. And, and for those of you who don't know, uh, Steve Winwood played in Blind Faith with Eric Clapton and Ginger Baker Clapton. in 70, or 69, I think, actually. And because then... Um, okay. <laughs> then Yeah, that's enough of that. Then... Ginger Baker started Ginger Baker's Air Force in 1970, and then in 1971 he moved to Nigeria and oh, and started and he started uh, playing with Fela C- Fela Cuddy. I think I'm pronouncing his name right. Shout out Fela um, and the Africa 70. And um, but in Ginger Baker's Air Force, he's playing with Grand Bond, who it was the founding member of the Grand Bond Association in 1965. And Graham Bond actually... Oh, thank you. He actually um, plays... I don't even know where I'm going with this. But anyways, yeah. he was kind of an OG in the English uh, music scene. And he actually gave the animals their name. What? Um, oh, he oh. saw them in a a club in Newcastle, I think, or somewhere. And he was like, you and guys are animals. Yeah, literally. No, literally. <laughs> and uh, also, though, rest in peace, Graham Bond, he did die of a heroin overdose in 1974. And he was Baker, sc- too. Baker did not die of an overdose. No, he died a couple years ago, though. Been he away. had a big heroin problem also. Yep. And Phil Siemens also on this album, who... He is one of uh, Ginger Baker's biggest influences. He also had a heroin problem. G- Ginger Baker, is a, he's a wild guy, though, isn't he? Oh, he's very wild. Yeah. Um, I highly recommend watching Beware of Mr. Baker. Frog. If you get the chance. Forced me to watch it. Um, I forced you? Did nah, you watch it? I, we watched it together. That's right. Yeah, it was entertaining. Right <laughs> Back in the field days. Back in the field days. Yeah, that's good. Back in the field. Um, yeah. But yeah, if you want to play that, it's pretty good. Do you um, want me to play the record? Yeah, we got him. I got Final two Soul songs. Man. Yeah, let me uh, let me let me play it. And he was a drummer. He was a drummer. He was a he was a master drummer. I did when they had like the the drum offs. That was kind of yeah, cool. yeah. That that's, that's sick. Cool. He's doing he's drum he's a uh, drum battling like Art Blakey mm-hmm. and all these. But I didn't. I kind of left out the most important. Um, Ooh, era of Ginger Baker. So he, uh, if you didn't know, he was the drummer for Cream, mm. which is uh, Jack Bruce and uh, Eric Clapton's band with Ginger Baker. 
Uh, they're famous for, you know, their hits like Sunshine of Your Love and White Room and, you know, all the good stuff. Strange Brew. Why are you smelling it? It's got that good record. Don't, dude, that's used, man. Don't smell that. They still got the, it's like the cream aesthetic on that. Yeah, it's got like the, the psychedelic swirls, 60s yeah. centerfold. Jamie um Baker's Air Force. I don't think I've ever heard any. Yeah. Do you want to you wanna play yeah, Ico Baye? Say it. Say it again. A-I-K-O. Ico. Oh, oh, oh. Side three. B-A. Hopefully. Or something like that. Ooh, these are cool. Yeah, it's this a double is- LP, though. This is a good because it is live record um, for fifteen bucks. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, I, I it was like it's a that was like the, my number one pick when I went to Mystery Train. These are all which song? Uh, I go by a and uh, it's and you can start. Yeah, you can start. Um, you can actually just play from the beginning and just play for like five minutes, yeah, guys. We're gonna be playing this and. Dada Man, which is yeah, the opening we'll, we'll track. So, again, yeah. We switched to oh, yeah. Dada we will Man. see you guys in a little bit. Um, stay tuned, everybody. Let's see if this works. First time hearing it for me, too, actually. Yeah, here we go. Guys, enjoy.
Ginger Baker. Ginger Baker. For Ginger Baker's Air Force. Wonderful tunes. We're going to keep listening. That was live. Do you know when or where it was performed? Do you want to look Probably say it on the album. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming that was in Africa. Africa. And so it was, it was later in his career. No, it was 1970. Oh, really? And... You got to remember... Okay. Um, I remember. Okay, no, it wasn't. It was recorded live at the Royal Albert Hall in London. <laughs> yeah, because um, I thought he didn't move to Africa. Which is an infamous... Like- or a very famous venue... Uh, concert venue. Led Zeppelin have had some crazy concerts there. Um, crazy. I remember them. But, yeah, it's crazy to think about with Ginger Baker that he went from, you know, being in one of the biggest, if not the biggest at the time, uh, rock bands. Cream. With Cream. Um, and then just going from that to being in this band in, like, two years. Because Cream only lasted yeah, sure. a year and a half. That's, That's the crazy albums, thing. Right? Imagine, like... How many albums did they have? They had, like, three. three. But it's just crazy to think about because, you know, imagine uh, a band started in 20, 2021, yeah. January 2021. I can name you some. And uh, they ended, like, next month and had Not all these. Next month. Oh, that's. Yeah. You're saying that's, like, that was, like, the shelf life of their band. And they came out with all these classic, timeless albums and right. songs. And what do you want? Dada? Dada, man. You're goofy, man. This is oh, seven minutes. You know what? It's a different culture. You wouldn't understand it. Um, should we talk about Call me shows? Goofy. Mr. <laughs> I'm part of the workforce. What, what was that song? <laughs> Working for the corporation. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. You call me Goofy. Um, uh, let's talk about the festivals before I throw this on. Um, yeah. So, Blasting. as you guys know, UMass music scene is blasting off. Popping off. off. It really is. Um, oh, I'm sorry. This, I, I, let me find the... Thanks to all the, all the great coverage. Uh, yeah, shame. Going on again. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. No, we really are. We are maybe the only people. Um, we're the we're making this all happen. You know, it's all us. No one else. Nah, um, okay, okay. But I would be remiss if I didn't shout out um, Swim Radio. Swim Radio is next. And also... Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I always forget oh, the name. Um, yeah. Um, but it is. We got a stack Sunday. Owen's show is from four to six. He's always got oh, pre-recorded, keep talking. I broadcasted, uh, pre-recorded interviews with uh, local bands. He had what was it, Little Wings? Uh, he had Little Wings on. I, I think heard. it was two hours ago at this point. He had a pre-recorded. Uh, then after uh, us, our slot at eight o'clock, we have Swim Radio with uh, Jonah and Kyle. And they always they kill it, dude. They're doing better than us. I'm gonna say it. Um, well, when we spend uh, two hours of our fans' time <laughs> playing stupid records, uh, <laughs> donkey sounds. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was horrible. It was fun. It was fun. Um, it was yeah, but fun. T- at eight to ten for Swim Radio in in fourteen minutes, uh, they are having the East Coast. East Coast Oracles, um, a local, a local UMass band. I haven't heard any of their stuff, but stay tuned. Going for Going to theirs. the festivals though, are they? Yeah, playing yeah, yeah. Festivals? Yeah. So uh, I don't think they're in any of the festivals, but basically there are two upcoming festivals that I'm really excited for. This upcoming Saturday, UMass Salt is hosting the O Hill Music Festival. Look on Instagram at UMass Salt. They have a little poster which looks sick. It looks. It's, it, it looks like look a Grateful really cool. Dead. Yeah, it like, looks like a psychedelic 60s poster. Um, track Meet, The Big Egg in the Sky, Orbiter, and Ollie Schechter. Looks like an Allman Brothers like, poster yeah. or something. Um, I only know Track Meet, but um, I don't know. I'm gonna be, I don't even think Frog can make it, can you? Are you you're going to be out. Well, okay. This is my gripe with, with the people who host these these events. Why do you mm-hmm. make it on the days that like fifty percent of the school won't be able to go? Is that you why? Think so there's fifty percent of the school is celebrates Christianity. I bet fifty percent of the school is going to go home for the three day weekend. No, why would you go home? Stay here. Why, guys? You don't need to go home. It's going to be a blast. Oh and my God! Seamus just <laughs> broke the mic. He literally just broke the mic stand, so he has to hold it like a goofball. I'm going to take a picture of yeah. it for the Instagram uh, guys. If you're not following us on Instagram, WMA. follow at Seamus and Froggy, and you will literally see Seamus broke this 
WMUA, I'm gonna fix it. This is should he, be an easy she fix. Broke the, I didn't even look she with a screw. Shake it around a little bit. Um, yeah, it wouldn't. Oh my gosh, no. I'll fix it. Um, but guys, so they announced that on what Saturday or something. It's next Saturday. Um, yeah, three right to before, seven on the O'Hill. Hill. Right, be- yeah. Which you know we're O'Hill natives ourselves. Yeah, so, we love them. but you know what? Two hours before, two hours Come later, on, I can't live remember. Thirty minutes then, away, dude. Then, Don't go, then. no, I I live forty minutes away. I have <laughs> plans on Saturday. It's Easter yeah. Sunday. No, it's Saturday, and it's Easter Sunday the next day. Yeah, okay. And also, like two hours before, they announced a different. They announced a different festival. It's like that's happening in Hadley. That looked mm-hmm. wicked awesome. During well, guess what? The guess time what? slot of Seamus and Froggy. Like, they expect... It's during Seamus and Froggy? People to choose between Seamus and Froggy or hearing... Oh, okay. I don't know, like, maybe, like... Well, it's also week. it's also Mother's Day. <laughs> it is. It's literally Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. You can't pick... Like, that just makes me mad, bro. Yeah, you cannot so pick angry. any other days to have these festivals. Um, you know how many I, days I'm like, oh, my God, I wish You know how many weekends are left, though? They gotta have them someday. You know what? And they have to get all these people together. Saturday, I'm saying, why? Well, What's I don't wrong see with any, Saturday? I don't, see, Saturday? I don't see any problem with this upcoming Saturday. It's just because you're gone. I don't think that many people are going to be gone the day before Easter. But um, why Why Mother's Day? Why Mother's um, Day? That's a good question. They definitely had a reason. They had to book a venue for this place. Why couldn't they so do Saturday? We haven't even... Uh, it is that... Um, uh, sorry. That festival that Frog is referring to is the Let's Be Friends Festival, which is happening on May 8th. 11 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. It's a whole day. They got a venue. It's the Baxby's, Track Meet, Russ Bucket, Daniel Blair, Geskel, The Strand, Young Wabo, Pigeon Man, Adele Aviv, Pinch, which I'm pretty sure Sean Tobin is in. And the Ethan upstairs Harper. District. Pinch? Isn't is that his I band? Not, no, that's Blush. Oh, my... My apologies. Too. Um, I do know. I think Blush mm-hmm. is playing at some music festival in uh, the Cape over the summer, but I'm not totally sure. Oh. The Upstairs District, Three mandari- Mandarines, Halfway Love Sober, them. Shed, and Tomsu. That's stacked. That, that is, is a stack. Stacked, I want to go to that one. But he is... So what time is it? 11 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. All day, baby. But we have Seamus and Froggy at 6 to 8. So we could go before, Shamus dude. Seamus and Froggy's time slot, man. It's good, and it also is not. Um... Always it's it's good. Way. I think the benefits outweigh the the positive outweigh the negatives. That's true. That's true. Um, but it is ten dollars. You have to buy your tickets in advance, I believe. So if you want to go, I also am planning on going. Right now, I don't have any um, a group to go with. So if you guys want to invite me, I'll take that as you know, whatever. <laughs> guys, this is your chance to meet Seamus from Seamus and Froggy. Be my friend for in a day. person. <laughs> I told you he's looking for friends. He yeah, doesn't have any. He'll I got pay no you an extra ten dollars. Cover you. your ticket just so you go with him. Yeah, you have to pay me though. Um, I'm a freelance friend. And guys, Seamus also told me yesterday he's made the decision to get rid of all of his money. Yep, mm-hmm. and live the material goods, are the spoiled nomadic lifestyle. There's sh- it's the shackles such that a, bind us, dude. Such a uh, privileged <laughs> privileged opinion to take. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna live with no money, man. It'll be awesome. <laughs> the, the communities with the you know the hippies. You can still do them. that. You can just put all your money. You can just invest all your money into a retirement account into, or into uh, put it into money. a bank and then or just throw it on. Kid or money. guys, you can put it into kitten money. <laughs> yeah, Shout out told. Sundara Naik Punacha. Yep, <laughs> CEO of kitten money. CEO of kitten money. I don't money. know how you can be CEO of a. Uh, what's it called? All right, guys, we got nine minutes left. I want to play one more song and yeah. then we'll uh, call it a day. But uh, we, you know what? We hope you exist out here. Um, gotta, should I save that for it. after? No, no you right got now. We'll play the song and then that's it. Uh, then uh, Swim Radio is up next. Yes, sir. Stay tuned for Swim Radio. Right now, we're going to be playing Da Da Man. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> play uh, play it now. Yeah, guys, because we're 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 signing off. So yeah, we are. I guess this is our sign off. Then we'll play Automation. Um, yeah. I don't know, guys. We love you. Guys, thank you for the, listening to this extremely professional episode of Seamus and Froggy. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, yeah. wasn't boring. wasn't <laughs> wasn't cool. whatever. It was our vinyl show, you know. It was our vinyl show. Oh, yeah. We were experimenting, and uh, you know yeah. what? I don't know. Solomon, lead us out. Super suspect, y'all know if you actually exist in Western Mass, but hey, <laughs> sign it out from Western Mass. 
Shout out Salmon. Guys, thank you for listening. At Seamus and Froggy on Instagram. I don't know. Next Sunday, 6 to 8, uh, is pre-recorded. So Do not listen next Sunday. <laughs> don't. I'm telling you, don't, don't listen. <laughs> If no, if you DM us, because I repeat a lot, I in that I'm like DM us right now if you're listening, um, so we can see if people are actually listening. So actually DM us if you are listening during that time. Please don't. I, I'm actually telling you guys if you're listening right now, don't listen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't. It's, but uh, it's, uh, but but it, it could be very entertaining. The though. Sunday after Easter, Is I'm it saying it. Definite. We actually it's not definite <laughs> we are planning <laughs> should we say yeah, right, we, should say. Well, yeah. we are planning on interviewing track meet yeah, guys yep. we're gonna have them on for the whole show we are gonna so, uh, we gotta figure out what we're gonna talk to them about yeah we gotta gonna make sure it it's all, interesting cause uh cause we had some dull ones and then maybe a couple another- other couple other uh we got some good interviews closing out the semester hey well let, we don't wanna count our chickens a little too before we get hungry but um before I want to eat my chicken tenders, but all right, okay, uh, we could have a big guest coming up too in the future. Track meet is our plan for two weeks from today. Yeah, so follow our Instagram if you want to know more. All right, guys, James and Froggy, we love you. Da da man by Ginger Baker. Peace.